everybody, it's Kitten again. I know it's been a, quite a long time since I last did a video, and I'm back with some more Minecraft. We are starting on the new Hardcore World. I'm going to exit out real quick. So, I'm doing things a little bit different this time. I have already started the world, as you can see. Uh, I realize that I'm not very good at editing, nor do I really keep up with it like I should. I think I could do a good job, but it's just really hard on the phone, and uh, I don't always have the motivation to do it. It happens. So what I figured I'm going to do in the future for Hardcore series, at least for the immediate future, or any other series, most likely, uh, involving Minecraft, I am instead going to show the highlights. And um, I understand. You know, if you think, oh, she's doing that because she's cheating. I'm really not. I mean, there'd be no point, right? Like, why would I cheat off off camera, right? Like, well, like I like playing Minecraft. I like playing it legitimately. I've always played it legitimately. I like vanilla Minecraft. <laughs> but, yeah, so what I'm going to do is do it that way, I think. And I've already got this world uh gotten some of the boring stuff out of the way took a look around got wood got a few basic materials started a few farms early on as you can see the game mode survival hardcore season two of course um infinite there's the scene if you want to check it that and um no experiments obviously no cheats just uh purely vanilla Minecraft world with honorary hardcore. Uh, I realize that honorcraft sounds kind of stupid, so I'm not going to go with that anymore. Um, not sure what I'm going to title this video yet, if I'm just going to call it Kitten's Hardcore World or Kitten's Hardcore Series or whatever. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But okay, as you can see, this is this isn't the exact spot where I spawn, but it somewhere around here. I remember I got a good, pretty good view of all of this, so... There are a lot of mountainous, lots of taiga biomes around. There are some swamp biomes. Um, so, I mean, it's okay. Oh, and of course we've got azalea trees. There is a uh, lush, lush caves underneath here. I suspect quite a lot of them. They usually span quite a great distance when you get one of the new cave types. It's not just one specific area, in my experience. Which can either be really good or really bad, depending on what you want. Um, I like the lush biomes, though. I like the lush caves. They're more lit up, which is obviously a huge plus. Um, they're also just nice. Uh, the lush blocks are great for building. Uh, I do not like, uh, on my other world that you probably saw on the menu screen, Tefremira. That's my casual survival world that, uh, I'm working on. I've got a huge project going on that world, and... Uh, uh, all underneath where my base is is just it's the dripstone caves and I just I hate them they're everywhere they're huge they're lit up I've got a lot of the where they call it spaghetti caves where it's like thin and those are hard to navigate uh, uh there's like there's this gigantic system of caves right underneath like where my mine is and everything and Oh, it's it's barely explored at all. Uh, but anyways, um, I'm not sure what I'll do for a permanent base, but I do. I like this area. It's nice. I love spruce. Spruce wood is my favorite. It's the best. So uh, I'm probably still uh, going to go with uh, spruce theme. Uh, what I plan to do, at least for the immediate future, is I've made some dirt go over here. I'm trying to get the grass to grow. It's gonna be quite a while, I suspect, uh, before it gets over here. Uh, I might should do one to that side too, see which side catches up first. But uh, I'm going to build a little dirt platform here in the middle of the lake and then make like a, maybe not like an actual house, but like a, a sort of camp, I guess. I've got this idea in my mind. I don't really know how to describe it. Um, but it'll either be here in the next episode or I'll build it in the next episode. Honestly, I'm still not even sure if I'm going to go through with this, uploading this and 
starting this series because <laughs> I mean with me I'm not always the best and I, I tend to die in stupid ways in this game so uh, we'll see oh cow okay good uh yeah this is um trying to get the cow farm started good job all right uh but it, it there's so much uh mobs don't spawn on uh this out I, I don't know why i forget what this is called momentarily um and i don't i don't think they spawn on the course dirt dirt either i think they only spawn on the grass so uh it's been hard finding cows i've been waiting for one and i got my wheat field started and it's very very slow going i only have two wheat now um but I, I've mined all the grass that I think I can take for the time being. Uh, I've got a little sugarcane farm started and uh, all of its place. Anything else from here on out is collections. Uh, I will say I, I did get a little unlucky. Usually when I spawn I can find a village somewhere close by. Uh, I don't know if that's just... I mean I know it's just chance, you know. Luck of the draw or whatever. Um... But I do usually am I able to find them, so. And of course that gives me a boost, gives me a lot of wheat, a lot of other stuff, so. That part is, uh, kind of disappointing, but. Uh, it's okay, we'll find one eventually. In the meantime, I've just kind of got to wait for my wheat field to continue growing, and, um, eventually I'll be able to start collecting, and after that, um, well... In the immediate future, I want to build something, some sort of a base, a temporary one, even if it must be. Oh, uh, will this guy despawn? Let me feed him one just to make sure he doesn't despawn. Um, <laughs> I'd hate that. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm going to make a temporary base over there somewhere in the middle of the water. Um, and then, and I'm just going to be my, I need to mine more because I only have a little bit of iron. Um, I found a lush cave. That's where, um, I dug down here. I found a, a small lush cave. It was perfect size just for, uh, getting a little bit of exploration. I got some lapis, I got some glowberries, and I got some iron from it. And I made a few iron tools, iron shield, and I got, uh, the chain mail and the gold armor from zombies and, uh, the iron boots I crafted. So, I'm still kind of lacking on armor, so I'm, I'm afraid to do too much intensive stuff, like going really, really into caves, or, um, or doing anything that is likely to get me killed, because I could still die very easily right now. Um, but it's been going pretty well so far. No big surprises, no special finds, um, things that I need to really get going in this world. I need a spawner so that I can get XP, and it could be some time before I'm able to, f able to find one. I hope, hope I'll find one sooner rather than later, and preferably somewhere near the surface, but that's a very big if, and probably won't happen. But if I can't find one near the surface, perhaps in the course of my mine, I will find one. Or cave exploring, whichever comes first. <sighs> and then, um, I need to collect sugar cane. Eventually I will need to uh, stay up all night, get some zombie villagers cured, and uh, then I can get some farming villagers once I've gotten wheat. I need pumpkins. Easiest place to find pumpkins around here. Probably be a village, but I'm not sure how soon I'll find one. I've explored a little bit around, but I haven't explored a lot yet. There's still more to do. Um, this first episode is probably just going to be giving you a rundown on uh, the very beginning. Showing you what I've done so far and all that. So it's not going to be very exciting. Hopefully I'll have a little more to show you in the next episode. Maybe I'll have some more iron. I do need to mine a bit more. Dig another cow because I need a stable food source. Uh, right now I have um, some food, and I think I have some in here, yep, a little bit. Um, but yeah, I, I'm looking forward to this world. Hopefully I won't die so quickly like in the last one. And I, uh, oh, cow. <laughs> it's 
Sorry. Get so distracted, I guess, when I see the things that I want. Alright, come on. Come in here. Alright, there you go. And I don't... I need a bit more wheat. Could wa oh, look at that. Right on time. Perfect. Okay, um, let's go ahead and plant this too. Alright, let's get started with the breeding. So yeah, hopefully this world will last longer. I hate that the last one ended and on such a sad note too. The you didn't even get to see my death. Not that it was very pretty. I hate drowns sometimes. Well, the trident drowns specifically. The rest of them are okay. Uh, you can tank the tridents if you have good enough armor, but with low armor, it's just... The damage is absolutely brutal. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to be avoiding those, and uh, I'll keep my geode findings in the ocean to uh, when I have better gear, I guess. Um, that's probably about all for today. I can show you the lush cave, but eh, nothing much down there really. A few charcoal fish, I saw some axolotls. I love the axolotls. Um, I'm also excited, I'm looking forward to the next update, except I hope there's going to be more than just what I showed in the Minecraft live. Oh! Oh, see, there's this clip. Oh, no, it, that one must actually show up. Okay, well, I mean, not that I can buy anything from you, but I'll look anyways. I like the rated dirt. Got some ice. Well... Sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, I need the leads. Leads will be helpful. They'll be helpful. Are you done being mad at me? I'm really sorry, but uh, your guy wasn't carrying anything good. <laughs> Alright, anyways, that's probably going to be about it. Uh, we'll see what happens in the next episode. It could be a bit. Uh, I'm gonna try to accomplish something. So yes, yeah, so, so we're just not as filled updates, I guess. The videos for the series will just be kind of updates on, hey, I got this done. Um, and I, I hope you're okay with that. Um, but I think in the long run it'll make it a bit more entertaining to have it like that. Um, with how my skills are right now and ability to record. I, I can't record for too long, I know, because kitchen and bike is taking up like all of my storage. Uh, and if I record for too long then I, I won't be able to <laughs> I won't be able to keep like long videos to upload. So anyways, uh, thank you so much. If you checked out this video, please check out some of my other ones. Um, and hopefully we'll have more to come in the future. Alright, thank you so much for watching. It's nice to talk to you guys again. Bye-bye.